Hey guys, can you believe it's already been one whole month since my rectocil and um, internal hemorrhoid removal and basically rectum total repair? So nuts, right? And it's actually been just, it's like been almost four and a half months since my my colon surgery where they removed 18 inches of my colon. That's so nuts to me. I can't even believe we're here right now. I'm sorry, I'm in my car and I'm trying to hold my phone. I need a stand in my phone or in my car so I can do vlogs. So anyway, so I wanted to kind of fill you in. Um, my car is a little hot. I'm going to open up the window and kind of fill you in on what's been going on. And hello. And um, how my appointment went. So everything is looking really good. He said the swelling has gone down a lot, that everything looks a lot better. Um, I still have two areas where there was external, so I had stitches all internally to, um, to correct where all the prolapse of my rectum had. So, cause not only did I have the prolapse of my colon, which your colon is actually your large intestine, same thing. Um, I had a prolapse of my rectum. So there was a whole chunk of my rectum that had fallen over that needed to be, um, put back together. So there's obviously stitches all internally, but then I had some stitches out externally. Those suckers were painful. I'm not even going to lie. Those are from, not from the rectocil repair. So if you're following me or uh, looking to get a rectocil repair, that's not from the rectocil repair. That was from the um, massive internal hemorrhoids that I had due to um, the rectocil and due to like really bad constipation problems for years. Um, so I had two really big um, uh, stitching in there and he tried to clip them out um, but they're like not wanting to come out and that kind of annoys me because they're a little uncomfortable um, but they are getting better um, right now my tailbone is like ridiculously sore my tailbone is so sore and the reason being is that there is two bands he like drew it out there's like two bands of tendons and muscles that uh, wrap around where your rectum is and it it attaches right directly to my tailbone um, so right now because my rectum is still healing and it still hasn't fully it's not fully functioning excuse me I'm burping um, <laughs> Um, it's tugging really bad on my tailbone and causing a lot of discomfort to my tailbone. So there's spasming and stuff going on. So I actually have a prescription for some Valium to, um, as a muscle relaxant to try to help relax those areas because it's been a lot of uncomfortable, uh, um, uncomfortableness. And I actually am on, I have to fly tomorrow and I'm going to Vegas and I have an event. I have a leadership conference for work and I need to be able to sit in a conference center. So, um, that's to help a little bit with that discomfort. Um, what else? Uh, I am on restriction for another two weeks. Um, I can't really go full out and working out, but he did approve me to do more walking. I could try to do light jogging, um, up and down stairs, um, no weights still. Um, he said, and he, he, I could try to do a little bit of ab work, but nothing that engages the pelvic floor. So there's like a, still a lot of stuff. So I'm pr pretty much probably going to not even try to really push anything. I'll, I'll probably just start going for walks and plan that on the 15th is when I'm basically at the six week mark that I'll slowly start adding things back in. Now, here's the thing. I can't do like a lot of leg work. I can't even do squats like ever again. Um, I can do like 90 degree squats or wall squats, but I can't do full squats. Um, I don't, I don't even think I can do lunges. I have to double check with him. There's a lot of stuff I can't do leg wise. Um, I have to be very careful and I have to be very, I have to modify everything. Um, and that's for forever. I will have to do that because when you do full squats like that, it's putting all that pressure it goes right into the rectum and the vagina and it is a lot of pressure right there. And so even though it's all corrected, I very well could, I could injure that area again, cause it to prolapse again 
and have to do the surgery all over again. And I don't want to do the surgery all over again, okay? So I have to baby that area and I have to be mindful of that. Um, but he said, it's not like I can't ever work out or do my workouts. I just have to make adjustments. So I have to kind of think about what I'm going to do. Um, because there's just a lot that I, I was doing before that I'll never be able to do again. So that's, you know, a little bit of an adjustment. Um, also nutritionally, I asked him about this. So my colon, if you don't know this, right, when you take out a chunk of your colon like that, like I took out like um, a good, a very good chunk of my colon, um, basically like the whole left side and kind of where it's that whole, like, you know how like your intestines, right? It goes like up, goes across your large intestine and then goes back down. You know what I mean? Right? So basically this whole left side all the way up until like where it turns and starts to go across, that whole chunk is gone. Um, and they had to reattach from like this upper part down to my rectum. Now, when you remove something like that, you understand the large intestine colon, it basically each section does different things when it's moving the stool through. Um, so different sections, when you remove it, have different um, symptoms and different, uh, all sorts of different stuff happens when people are recovering from that. So for me, right now I'm obviously having feeling like I'm having still a hard time accepting certain things in nutritionally. Um, and that's usually a lot of the healthier foods. Like every time I try to add in fresh fruits, vegetables, go back to eating the way I was, which was very much, um, pescetarian, I think is what it's called. It's basically where I eat a lot of, I eat seafood, but I don't really eat land animals. Um, and that was just because it was causing me a lot of discomfort before, before my colon surgery. And I didn't have gluten. I didn't have a lot of, um, uh, you know, refined breads and pastas and rice and a lot of those types of things. Those were really hard on my system. Well, the problem is, is that now my colon, this whole side, since it's gone, I'm just, I'm having a really hard time accepting it. And my food is basically still kind of what it was after I had colon surgery, which is called the low residue diet, which is to be quite honest, it's not the, it's just not the healthiest because it's a lot of refined, um, breads and carbs and white pasta, white bread, white rice. Um, I still, am not being able to accept meat, um, chicken and small amounts seafood seems to be kind of okay. Eggs seem to be okay. Um, but like I have to be on a lot of just carbs, just refined gunk. Um, and it's not even like healthy carbs, like multigrain, brown rice, all that is a no go still. When I asked him about this, he said, and cause I'll be honest, if you, if you've had a colon surgery or you're prepping to get a colon surgery, this does happen. It takes a while for your system to kind of get back on track because my rectum is still healing, it throws off the whole system. You have to understand like this is all connected, right? Your small intestine to your large intestine, colon to your rectum, everything is connected. So when one area is not acting right and it's upset and healing, it's throwing off the whole line. And because since that whole colon area, hi, hello peoples, <laughs> um, because <laughs> they just totally distracted me. Sorry. <laughs> You're so sorry. I'm like a shiny squirrel. So because of that, he says, give it still another month of trying to work out your rectum. My rectum is still not working the way it should when it comes to going number two. I still have to make some adjustments to the medication I'm taking to help me with my bowel movements. I need to allow that still more time to heal. So he says, give it another month. Um, and then hopefully by then, um, it should start accepting more and I should be able to start adding things in. So I just have to keep going with it, which is hard because it's like the last, since my hysterectomy, I mean, after my hysterectomy, I'd gotten really back on track and I had lost a lot of the, um, the extra weight that I'd put on through that surgery. But, um, it's just been really rough probably since spring. Um, and then obviously since colon surgery, I've probably packed on a good 10 plus pounds and it doesn't help when I'm eating basically a lot of, you know, gunk because my body is just not accepting healthy, clean options. So that's a little frustrating at times. Um, but I got to let myself heal and I have to be patient and just accept that 
this is the path, this is the journey, it's gonna get better, this is temporary. Um, but when he sat there and told me that I was gonna have to adjust everything with my workouts, I was like, oh God, like, I'm trying to not let that stress me out either. So that's where we're at. Um, trying to think if there was anything else. If you have questions, anything that you wanna know, post them below, let me know. Um, but yeah, that's your one month checkup. Other than that, I'm doing really good. I still, I'm not having any pain when I come to urinating because that was a, a, a really bad issue I had. I am having a little bit of back pain again right now, but like I said, he's saying it's because of all the spasming that's going on. It's pulling on my tailbone, which is then pulling on my lower back again. And so that's starting to ache again. So he's like, that should all go away over this next month as we get your rectum functioning again better and all that stuff. So I am I know it's going to all work out. So I'm not even stressed about that. All that pain is going to go away. So from here on out, we're going to start documenting and sharing what it's going to be like getting back on track after a major surgery like this, two major surgeries like this back to back um, and what that's going to look like, how to modify. Cause I get a lot of, you know, people asking me like, how are you going to, um, with prolapses and stuff like that like how do you um modify that you know so that's gonna be now i'm gonna be the guinea pig right i am willingly gonna be the guinea pig on this to try to figure out how that's gonna look and how that's gonna work okay love you guys have a really great day and i will talk to you guys later okay bye